Hi, and welcome back. So we're in the Tesla. It's evening, but I didn't want to wait. Excuse the audio. I don't have my normal microphones with me. Uh, so hopefully you'll excuse the audio, but I wanted to get you this information right out about update 2023.32. Dot four. There are a few things in here, not just bug fixes. There are bug fixes, but there are several things that I want to show you that are pretty interesting. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get right into it. Okay, so update 2023.32.4. Here we go. So the release notes just say minor fixes and uh, on a previous one, again, I do all these based on what I got. So if some come out on a previous iteration that I didn't have, I didn't have it. So I'm calling them with this update. So in, in the previous one we had Hebrew language added. Now, some other things that are in this that I wanted to tell you about are the cameras are improved. They've improved the processing of the cameras. Uh, whoops. So let's see if I can get it in reverse. It's plugged in, so it's not going to let me put it in reverse. But uh, let's see. Will it directional? Okay. So they, wow, that actually looks worse. <laughs> so the directional nighttime camera actually looks worse. You can't even see it. It used to be just like orangey. And again, maybe that's just where I'm at right now. But uh, yeah, so they did improve the camera processing uh, according to, you know, what I've read. Now, another thing they did, which is pretty interesting, is under service. Okay, so you type, whoops, service. Okay, enable. So if I enable service mode, okay, um, there are now update release notes for service mode. So this is new. If you go into service mode, they're going to show you different things that they've updated uh, in the release notes. So if I hit release notes, so here you go. With the last update, you can see additional alerts with payload signals, as well as both set and clear timestamps. A history of up to 500 recent alerts can be browsed. That's awesome. A new ECU status panel to help diagnose a failed software update. You can check the latest update. Um, your, you can update your low voltage battery type if you change it from lead acid uh, to, to the other types. You can change that. Enhanced heat pump panels. Um, new Odin routines. So there's all kinds of information, new updates in service mode in this. So between that and the cameras, those are the things really bug fixes, release notes in service mode, and also updates to the cameras. So I just wanted to share those with you. I didn't want to make you wait. Uh, and yeah, that's the updates that we got. So those are the updates. Basically, we got some bug fixes. We did get updates to, there are now release notes for service mode, which is really cool. You can see new things you can do in there. Uh, and also they've improved the cameras. Those obviously it's at night, it's hard for me to check, but I'll be checking tomorrow to see if they really have. But yeah, this, just wanted to let you all know that. And again, pardon me for the audio, but I don't have access to my normal mics. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.